What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance Wars Season 25, War Number 2, where GT40 goes against ISO 8A. Now, last season, they beat us, but we have a secret weapon. We took one of theirs. Last season, Barrow Man used to be in ISO 8A, but this season, he's in GT40. So, he's with us this, se- this season. Anyways, hopefully that'll help. We'll see. But I'm on a simpler path this war, and we'll talk about that soon. Um... I am not turning my suicides on. I don't need to. I don't think it's needed at all for this war. Because this war went from we're winning, we're kicking butt, to we have no chance at all to win. Just in a snap. Just like that. But anyways, I'm joining late because I originally was put on these paths and was told to do path 6 and path 9 with the global up. But I'm like, no, I think it'll be easier if I had to do it with the global down. Um, that Sentinel will be a lot easier and quicker with Global Down. So will that Psycho Man on Aggression Fury? A lot easier with Global Down. And my first time ever fighting a Weapon X in war. I was telling my officer, please don't put me against him. But I got pretty confident going in. And we'll talk about that soon after I get into my fights. But with an hour left of war... I had, I guess, a little bit over an hour left of war. I needed an hour to get to my last node because I had six nodes I had to cover. Six nodes I had to cover. But the you only get five nodes or five energy. So people in my battle group ended up taking until the last minute, last minute to take on the boss with an hour 13 left. Last minute taking the boss. And this node is Aggression Fury and Strike Back. Um, it's really easy with the Global Down, but with Global Up, it would be difficult. But I didn't bother turning Suicide's on. My goal here is to get to a special two and just throw it and then just kill him after that. Now, when I said the war went bad like that, what I mean is someone who was supposed to be in Path 3 ended up doubling up on Path 1, and our backup was already gone. So... We ended up not taking a path. So after this fight, I had a choice either to take path 3 or path 9. Path 3 was only one fight. Path 9 was two. So I knew that if I took path 3, I'd end up giving the opponent more points because more defenders up. So at this very moment, I'm like, hmm, do I go the easier path, path 3, or take the fight I've never taken before? The Weapon X. Now, Sentinel is no problem at all. But the Gage 99 is also no problem at all. I'm not going to lie, I already told everyone I was going to go path 3. But this war is already over. We're down one attack bonus and a whole path that we can't take. So, I'm like, you know what? Might as well test that Weapon X, see how bad it is. I did a few duels against Panaman Pete's Weapon X. So if you need a duel, Panaman Pete is a great duel for that. Shout out to him. But yeah, the Sentinel, not an issue at all. As long as I'm path 9, you do not parry. You are good. Because the wind of opportunity stun, if you parry, you get parried. Now, yes, there is a period of time where you can parry. But it's a pretty pointless amount of time because of the fact that on this node, if you parry and you hit him while the parry is up, you take all the damage back because of one eye open. But anyways, my goal here is, again, get to a special two. Get to another special two and just rinse it. Um, I fought Sentinel so many times before. I don't have to... Get his analysis charges up or just worry about it, to be honest, in this fight. Because I crit anyways. But I'm just going to have some fun and try best to just not worry about the analysis charges. And just finish him with a big special too. This fight is over. And now I have to wait a whole hour. I boosted up for these fights. Now I didn't boost up too big on purpose. Because I knew I had to boost up again for that next fight. But an hour later. After all my boosts fell off, except for my tech boost, which can be useful for that warlock that I'm going to be using, I'm going to throw on some tiny boosts, some very tiny boosts, because if I die here, it doesn't matter, this war is lost, but I'm pretty confident that I, I can not parry this fight and just get through it. I did do a lot of duels against a Weapon X Wolverine, and I am confident that I did not have to boost up at all for this fight. But this fight is Window of Opportunity Stun and Empowered Immunity. So if I pair him during uh, Window of Opportunity Stun, he's going to gain power. 
And I don't think he, he is immune to Petrify. So if you Petrify on him, he will gain power. But with Warlock, you don't have to worry about Petrify at all. Because you don't Petrify, you just turn off healing passively. Which is probably the best concept for Weapon X. Now I did see someone use a Clairvoyant against Weapon X not too long ago in War. It is a very strange tactic, but it works. But anyways, so Weapon X just threw a special one, which means that he goes into his Berserk mode. I'm trying to get Intercept off here, but he's being aggressive, which is not helping. He throws a Heavy, which is helping right there. I'm going to try and get Intercept off very soon, you'll see. Pushing him back, back to his wall. Um, his Berserk charges are, are gone now, which means that it's 20 seconds that he can't even activate Berserk. I have a special 2, not sure why I didn't throw it there, but I could parry there. I made sure of it before. And I almost missed my special two there. Back up here. About to take a combo to the face. You'll see in a second. Um, I'm going to try and get an intercept off right here. There's my intercept. Going to try another one. Doesn't work. Um, I will take a combo in a second. But again, not a big deal. Because this fight is basically over. Should have thrown my special two there. Intercept failed. But it's fine. Throw a special two. This fight is over. Just like that. Weapon X it was a very easy fight. And I'm very confident, as long as it's not on path 2, where I can't gain power, I'm pretty confident in this fight. But anyways, thank you for coming to this war video. Um, hopefully, you can learn something to never go the wrong way in an alliance war, when the backup is already gone. Now, he did feel pretty bad, that's why I'm not going to mention any names. Um, we did not kick that person at all, but he learned his lesson. Anyways, we had three fights this war, no potions, which brings us to a total of Eight fights this season with two potions used last war. We're going for a deathless season. Not sure if we're going for top three anymore after this war is lost. But we're going to try our best. Which means we have to win all the rest of the wars the rest of the season. Which is definitely possible. But anyways, this is Coop signing off. Happy gaming.